flow, we got JT Money. Shit. What's going on with you, baby? What's up, brother? You know what it is, man. You know what it is. Right now, we finna get into the story of JT Money. You feel me? What, what, what JT Money got going on right now, what he had going on back then, you did. I first want to start off, man. I know your uh, family, you feel me, was full of DJs, man. Right. What what DJ group exactly was was they from? Well, my uncle, you know, uh, Larry, Uncle Larry, we used to call him Charlie Lowe. Well, they used to call him Charlie Lowe back in the day, yeah. South Florida Stinger. And then, you know, we took over his equipment, me and his sons, and it was Magna Funk DJ. We had us an eight pack, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? We used to do our parties and, and little jams. But, you know, my uncle and them did all the parties. Every time anybody did something, we was them kids in the back of the room. They used to come out, mm -hmm. you know, when them niggas drunk and whatever, sip the brew. You know, we was them type of shorties. We was around that because we was the speaker boys. Yeah, okay. We had okay. that. <laughs> yeah, you know. But, yeah, that was, that was my... So, you know, we started playing with the equipment. They let us jam when they taught us how to work it. You, all right, all right, so you was jamming then back in the day. So you, you got your experience. Oh, I got my meantime on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I might put out a tape this you year. You did? Meantime, nigga. I don't think I'm from Miami for real. You know, I ain't. Born okay. and raised in this bitch. Let's get it. Full of it. Speaking of that, speak to me about Gator. Who is who is yeah. Gator in your life? Gator is my old boy. Not my biological, my stepdaddy. That's the nigga who raised me since I was about... Eight, nine, ten, ten years old. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that nigga made a man out of me. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. That nigga, you know, like, you know, you get, you know, you young, you be knocking your head and going through it. But that nigga was really riding with it for a nigga, and I, and I give him all his today. You know, that's the T and JT Money. It was Tompkins. Mm. You know, he literally adopted a nigga. Right. Gave a nigga's last name, took responsibility for a nigga. That's major. And uh, he did everything, you know. I, I got no gripes or qualms for that guy. May he rest in peace. That's my G. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm my little sister, real daddy, the twins. That's they daddy. You know, but small boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, facts. So, so you would say, would you say you was pretty much, I'd say, knucklehead? You know what I'm saying? Hard to deal with? Was it a lot to deal with JT or, or a now, smooth ride? When I made moves, I made big moves. So if it's good, it's going to be big good. If it's bad, it's going to be real bad. Yeah. You okay. know, so my thing had to be disciplined or, or <laughs> try not to miss. <laughs> be a bet on the short shot, Jay. Don't just be out there throwing money. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I already say you feel me real Miami Dade County, baby, for real. So Shit. I know you went to New Orleans. Yeah, I did. I was in Northern, North Miami Beach, and Kansas City. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Let's get it now. From Norland, I know that's where you you kind of get the, you know, the the reggae, but more so hip hop vibe. Yeah. Give the yeah. people a paint a picture of what was Norland like back then. Um, I don't know. I was up in it, but you know, everybody. A lot of red bones at the school, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. New York niggas over there, Jamaicans over there, the band niggas over there. Uh -huh. Us niggas, you know, thought we was in the street, or thought we was cool, we was over there. We all started out playing ball, but by the next year, nigga ain't had the grades, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, high school, but um, it, it was cool though, you ask me, you know? That's, that's where JT Money was born at, you mm. know? Okay, I'm, so... Yeah, but I mean through these Miami streets though, but I was living right over there, you know. I feel you, I see what you're saying. Now now at at what point do you start to get into music? Do, do you not know not more so take it seriously, but just, just start the more so all right, I'm a rapper. All right. Um I don't know, man, about eleven or twelve I used to just memorize other niggas' rhymes and shit, you know. Okay. And then as I grew up a little more, I started doing my own. But what really made me just start rhyming, I think we was in like a, a detention or something. They had us in the cafeteria in New York, niggas be beating on the table, right? And the crowd, we were, and I just jumped in one day. I, and then after that, once I made the crowd go, woo, I'm like, where did they get a load of this, man? Because I ain't even think about that shit. Now let me put my brain to it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's kind of like that. I had my one verse and my shit, I was ready. Pull it out. Nah, was Poison Clan is is that birth during your, your high school days? Yeah. Okay, break that down. down for me. Um, 
Well, poor and clear, you know, we met Del Madrid. So, you know, they, they came, they transferred from New York, came down, you know, came to New Orleans. Some kind of way, we just clicked, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they had a little chick run up on me. I guess they thought I was a New York nigga. Mm -hmm. You know, I was always a little bit different than the, <laughs> even the boys, you know, I was a little different. I was like, nah, nigga, from Miami, but we was cool, you know. Yeah. Niggas had the flat tops, now ain't no niggas at our school had that yet. <laughs> they wasn't doing that, you know. Well, I guess they was, they were little. And then Dale came with that shit like this, nigga. Before Kid and Play. Mm. <laughs> I'm just saying. Before we saw Kid and Play, how about that? <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, so, Big Daddy's talent show. Check. Give me, before you go on stage, are you nervous or do you feel like I got this in the bag? No, nah, we got this. I, I can't wait, you know what I'm saying? Them other niggas need to hurry up. I'm okay. get that mic, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But that's that's where our uh, confidence level was at. Like, we we all, we knew we was raw and fly, and I, you know, you know yeah. we fly niggas, you know. Yeah, that's that was our thing, you know. Okay, and for those who don't know, what's what's legendary about the Big Daddy's talent show when it comes down to Poison Clan? Was legendary about, about it, it. And, and Mr. Mix. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's where we met Mr. Mix from Two Loud Crew, producer everything on Luke Records back then. Mm. And um, yeah, man, man just came up to her after we rocked up Vision One. That motherfucker, he's like, man, y'all want to make a record? And you know, shit, I was like, yeah, let's, you know, they didn't know who he was really, but you know, they became the the glue that kept us going, cause mm -hmm. you know, I was still a Miami nigga, so I'm gonna be moving. But you know, Devin Hall, they were sitting there going through it. I come through and drop my verses, you know. But we were talking on the phone though at night, you know. Okay. Three way and then bust lyrics over the phone and critique our shit. Now we gonna go in the studio tomorrow and do it. Okay. Oh okay. yeah. So you're doing the music, but it's like you're not you're not really banking on it. You know what I'm saying? You got one foot in, one foot out. Yeah. Well, I I don't know. I didn't know what was. I was just uh, committed to get it done. Okay. You know the potential. Like we had rappers in mind. We don't seen them niggas. Mm. You know the niggas who had the money was still the the niggas who had the money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Rap niggas was rap niggas, but you know you get some hoes, you get flowers. You know, but. Yeah, you know, we had to go get to the money. Okay, yeah. okay. So so now we at, we, we done did the talent show. Mr. Mix comes up, pretty much gives y'all guys an opportunity. Y'all take it, y'all get signed. Do you see Luke off rip? Or is it some time before you start to more so see, you know, Luke and the different label mates? Yeah, a little later, not off rip. We ain't see him off rip. Um. Again, like we knocked that album out in about a month. You know, we just went in whenever Mix was in town and just knocked them shits out. Mm -hmm. So once Luke heard the music, you know, that nigga was like, Where my, my boys at, my dog? You know what I'm <laughs> he had them adopted us or some shit like that. <laughs> That's my guys right there. <laughs> okay, so, so prior to him hearing the music, he was pretty much in and out. So, like, it's like y'all yeah. didn't really see him. Right, you know, just look, you just walk by, you know, he the man, Yeah, you know? yeah, <laughs> like a lot more. Don't see little niggas, you know, <laughs> and you know, niggas are doing that shit back then. Like, hey, yeah. what nobody doing? Well, right, cool, you know, it was respect, you know, it was a code, you know, it was a combo. Okay, now, being that the, the, the first album, even though Dance All Night is biggest song on the album, that's right. the only bass record or well, Miami bass record, so on the album, but the rest of the album is pretty much, it, it's, it's in a different direction. Right. It's, so do, did, did y'all have the brain more so like, all right, we're going to put this record on the album so we can get a hit, or it just it just happened like that? Um, Mr. Mix gave us 12 beats, and 11 of them turned out to be two or like mothers. It was just one song, it ain't make sense, that's the name of it. Mm. And, I, and Luke ain't like that one, so that didn't make the album. You know, but as far as that, we would do records. And then it's like, yeah, we got to give y'all a club record. You need a club record, you know. And that was just the game. That was Miami bass, you know what I'm saying? Coming out of Luke Records, we got that. Like, all right, I had Ford Mentality done. Second your mama gave was the last record. Mm -hmm. And that's what Luke got excited. He liked it. He liked the rough me get busy and I hate hoes. Yeah, but yeah. But then he heard that shake after I did it, you know. 
oh, this it, this the one. you know what I'm saying? I but it, I, it's saying. what they could sell, what they were selling. Look, see, man, I'm about to tell out now. Listen, nah, niggas ain't never know what to do with me. They never know what to do with me. You know, this uh -huh, nigga, uh -huh. this pimp, a gangster, like party music, what is up with this nigga? See? All that, 360, mommy nigga, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm. So, you would say pretty much, kind of like now, all right, with with, with like like the labels, they'll try to direct the artist, all right, we're yeah. going to make you this type of artist or this type of artist because you only do this or this or that, but with you, Jack of all trades. Pretty much, you know, or, or, or just a master of all, right, all like that it. shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But nah, look, though, man, I've been at this shit. I know what to do. Oh, y'all like that? Oh, where do you get a load of this? Mm -hmm. That's always been me, you know what I'm saying? Put a little hot sauce on that motherfucker. You did. The hot pepper. But, um, what we talking about? I don't want to trail out. No, 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 we on point. We, we, we on the first album, so as far as creating the album so i know right. you got the west coast sound already yep. out you got the new york sound already yep. out so what's explain the brainwave of making this because this is now groundbreaking for the south right so are you writing the raps in uh, or making the album with the brainwave of all right we, we have to make this because this is our sound for the south and now the south like how outcast was like you know we got something to say right. are you doing it with that mentality yeah definitely but again, we thought we was raw, you know, raw than other niggas. In our minds, niggas wasn't fucking with boys and clay. Like, nigga, if I'm Mike Tyson, bitch, you want it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's how we was. It's just like, let me get that motherfucking mic. Like, these other niggas playing out here. Because, you know, you got to think before boys and clan, everybody was like, damn near joke jokers you know nursery rhymes are you know real simple one and one is two and, and three made four mm -hmm. and, then, and then you know we come with that pull out the red cop let the view go, you know what i'm saying boom check it out at the fort you know we come with that you yeah. know but that was our thing you know what i'm saying but the mentality was like again i even started rapping because we wasn't being represented right like niggas like me like us we wasn't there. We wasn't. I mean, it was niggas there, but they didn't set us apart from that other shit or mm. bring us to a level of respect by those who think they run it. You uh -huh. know, they got it. Like when we move places, them niggas be like, "Oh, that's that kid. That's the yeah, that's the niggas." You, you know, you can see them. Yeah, 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 and and you know we out there, but we play. I always been a player, but yeah, yeah, okay, check. You know. Yeah, and it's always been good, but you know, it gotta. I right, so rap niggas, you know, he shouldn't be like, you know, they don't like that because <laughs> they ain't but, used to but it. You, what they ain't used to it, uh, they just don't like. They don't like that thing. All right, with that shit we was doing, they could try not to like it, but once we got it on them, and uh, mm. yeah, it was no way around it. It was so raw and authentic and genuine if, if you got any piece of nigga or soul in you you're gonna feel something you know what i'm saying 1330. Right. Cold word. You know, I just, I'm just trying to, you know, yeah. to do your bit, make sure you mm -hmm. do, make sure you right, do. Right. yeah but that shit was beautiful, man. I got, I got a question, bro. My name is Shake, by the way, bro. We sure. met earlier. We, we know some people indirectly, like, you know what I'm saying, through the club and all that sure. shit. Big Swole, Pops, everybody sure. like that. Wake up in the morning, pockets on E. Fuck that shit, school life. And, and, and hold, hold on. They got me down, but it ain't no. Thing. Which one, which one was? Both of them. You feel me? Like, yeah. what's, which one is Because that wake up in the morning, pockets on E, that's every right. nigga in the hood on right. the ghouls, my nigga. Right. So, it was in ghouls, nigga. That every nigga that All had. Right. It wasn't there for some niggas. And when I put it out, niggas started doing it. You got to think, was it was it the thing to do before 92? Okay. Was it the thing to do before 92? You know, I did it in 91. That motherfucker hit the streets. Next thing you know, we all on the news all motherfucking day, nigga. <laughs> Listen, we the reason the doors locked automatically. Because mm. they used to get them gone. We the reason Z-Tags, Y-Tags don't exist. Because we can identify. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, I'm just saying, like, the fuck, man? Y'all think of later. Indirectly, we did something good for the industry, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to 
in Jersey right now. Niggas, got, got a, a podcast called Laps, Life After the Prison uh, System. His name's Jadai. He live and die by your experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Anyway, but yeah, that's kind of how that went. But Tone was like, nah, I knew you was going to say no, Jay. I was like, right, nigga. That's can crazy. I, can, I, can I say something about that same record, that, that video? Yeah. Like, talk about, yeah. because that was the big budget day right. of videos, and y'all, right. you came up with the concept, or they came nah, with that, that face off people, people submitted treatments, and uh, that one stuck out. Dallas like that he came to me and said, Jay, oh, I got it. We're going to do this, this. He showed me the shit we read through it. I was just like, nigga, whatever it is, I can't do the thing. We could have did Pulp Fiction. We could have did, you know. Hmm. So when you saw the finished product, what you, what you. Yeah, well, yeah, well I, I expected nothing less with what we were spending and what we was doing because we was on the actual set. We had all the uniforms, you mm -hmm. know, the money was spent, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, first take. Excuse me, y'all. On the first take, I had the motherfuckers excited because they wasn't ready for me. <laughs> I was sitting like this till, till the shit came on. And then, you know, ready action. Then I jumped in yeah. that motherfucking ass, and the niggas was like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. but they get crazy after you got to do it three, four more five, times, ten more times. Like, come on now. You got, you got the <laughs> got shit, the, the shit. initial reaction, man. But angles and shit, I get it. Okay. I get it. All right, now. Being at this time, not at this time, but more so, I I say I go back a little bit. N.W.A. being one of L.A.'s biggest groups, sure. Poison Clan being one of Miami's biggest groups. Y'all at one point kind of had a little back and forth. Take us through that time as into what started it and how was it, especially during them times, because hip hop was a little different. It wasn't so. More so, you know how like sports is now control. Hip hop was more a little rugged back then. So take us through that a little bit and exactly what happened. It wasn't no beef. It wasn't no back and forth. It was um, some niggas, some niggas we know on the outside. Man, all right, boom. Man, and Lou did this record faking like gangsters, right? And you know we talking about all niggas in the industry. You know we talking in general, boom, and then. Next thing you know, the you know, record was cold, you know. You know, and it's like loud. Even to your but but your friends who your boss man, mm. the white man, you know what I'm saying? Kids and all this on the ride, we was talking that shit. Okay, boom. Um we not in still we come back, niggas made a commercial skit and they just called them niggas names and I'm like, Hey what? Mm, oh, yeah. yeah. They laughing, oh, that's it funny. I'm like, but and in my mind, them niggas was cool. Luke and them niggas was cool. Okay. Because if you look at they movie, they playing Luke and them shit and now. They all and knew each other. Right. They, they were cool. So when a nigga let Luke here, I'm thinking Luke gonna say, nah, man, you can't do no shit like that. He loud too. <laughs> oh, you know, for that shit like. And I'm like, wow, y'all niggas. Because <laughs> where I'm from, we don't play like that. Right. We don't do shit like that if it ain't that. Like, I ain't never... I was never the nigga who'd be like, and then I'm just playing. Yeah, yeah, and I'm dead ass. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, and, and then the shit just got like that. But it's more hype than anything. Like, because you come to find out all them niggas was talking, man. You know, Luke was like, nigga, we gonna pay-per-view this shit, a show for show. You know, I, I see y'all, but coming from where we coming from now, you see how ugly that shit could have gotten. Yeah. Like, but then, you know, Jack the Rapper came and was still hype. You know, the boy was in there. Somebody was doing something and something and something. And then, you know what I'm saying? We set it off. <laughs> and then that night happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's fuzzy. You know, I just remember <laughs> seeing shit on my shoe. You know what I'm saying? But that was that. But, uh, you know. But everything got squashed and cool. And then, you know, it came. All right, see, now picture that picture I'm saying NWA, right? Okay. But it wasn't that. By the time the beat came, it's over when Dre had death row. Because it was like, you know, he did the, the chronic thing or whatever. Yeah, 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 no left. So that's what made us go back and do Cows and Continent. But, you know, I wasn't going to do that shit. Because, again, I was, I was, you know, I, I do all the shit like, Talking about the radio, the mother niggas who was stopping us, was hating on the south. You know, I go at all them niggas' heads and throats. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this is more personal. 
But, you know, and then I, I guess it turned out for the best, like representing the crib. Because at the time, you know, I probably wanted some more money. I was like this, like I ain't going to do it. That nigga tried about three or four niggas, buddy. <laughs> they just wasn't going to do it like Jay did it. Not back in 92, 93. Uh, so he was asking people prior to you to, hey man, y'all throw some throw some shots at him. I want to get back. Cause I, I wasn't gonna do that shit at her. But uh, again, my man paid that tab. You know, like if I'm gonna be hit, man, you know, take care of me, nigga. You say yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's I think, facts, though. I'm just, just keep me out the way. I, I'm out the way, bitch. I'm paid. You know what I'm saying? Now, quick, quick, wait, wait. <coughs> were, were you traveling before you started rapping? Not really, except going up that road, you know, with my little bit, okay, okay, making okay. my little couple pennies. I say that to say this, because uh, you was around during the days of the tunnel and all that there? Up north? Yeah. Yes, but they never booked me. Mm. They oh, didn't so book you had to be booked to go to the tunnel? Oh, the you could have went. You could have went and hung out, but okay, I don't okay, go okay. nothing. Because, cause, you know, for the West Coast niggas, corrupt, you know, them type of niggas, they all say they went through their battles, niggas, all that kind of shit, rapping, you know, tore the shit up and kind of, it, it kind of opened up for them. I don't know. Listen, man, I ain't never had to do none of that shit. Like, like, like again, the whole shit is blessing. Like, we, we wasn't walking around with taste. We were, like, we were getting contests that the niggas was about some money. Okay. And then nine yeah, times out of ten, we got first or second. Anyway, the play was one nigga who could sing the shit out of some songs. He probably beat us. Other than that, as far as rap niggas, they all, you know, <laughs> back then. So, our, our, our grind and struggle and hustle was different, you know. We were we pulling niggas out the streets. Mm -hmm. We wasn't buying no tickets to go over there and rap and buy no niggas. You know, we, we was just with Lou them. We got out there now for a nigga did something, you know, we get on the mic, do our thing. But, you know, the respect is the respect, you know. It's, it's earned, you know, like, okay. all right, boom. We used to go play some niggas I ain't never heard, of, uh, never heard of nothing. And I picture this nigga coming out, and his first words is, hey, yo, life's a bitch, so why marry? And they like, the fuck you, this nigga saying? <laughs> Because they thought I was going, yeah, four party people. Yeah, uh, uh, no, nigga, we can't rock this bitch. I can't holler at you niggas. And, yeah, that's pretty much the game for us. And I, and I can say all them niggas, too, because that was our understanding. Yeah, we're going to we get in a huddle call to play. Yeah, nigga, so I'm going to go that way. Mm. Yeah, nigga, I'm going straight up the mouth, bitch. I'm just going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no rubber, bitch. No rubber today. <laughs> we gonna fuck them raw today, nigga. Break! <laughs> Speak to that, though. Speak to being a pioneer of player talk. The way that a lot, especially from the South, especially today where they you pretty much say whatever you want to say on the record. Speak to being, if, if not the first, to saying what you want to say, but still in a lyrical way, nobody did it like you before that. Right, and that's just that right there. I just happen to be first, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, to do those things. You know, you know like, I, me personally, I, I've heard a lot of niggas with potential, but then other other factors get in their way, you know what I'm saying, types of niggas they is, how they move, how they handle business, you know what I'm saying, how they, you know, I, I've seen niggas with potential. I go, you know, and I'm one of them niggas who be like, hey, boy, what's up, nigga? Like, you know, I tell a nigga, you can't quit, nigga, we need you. Nigga, I need you. Come on, do, do right, you know? Mm. But you can't babysit a nigga, and then, I don't know how I get to that conversation, no, but let no. those with ears here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Do, oh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, a nigga, a nigga, you know, they just don't handle they, themselves right enough. Like, I, I, I teach and preach professionalism. Mm. You, know, the, you know, if you live out of code, it, it all falls in place, you know what I mean? Do, I ain't say be no sucker, I ain't say sell out, I ain't say kiss nobody ass, nigga. You can, you, can, you can professionally disagree. You know, professionalism, though, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it's all business, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to say, nigga, I take my business personal, though. You know, I'm, I'm this personally my shit, but it's all business, you know what I'm saying? It's a move, it ain't, you know, it's a tax write off. Whatever we gonna call this shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How you move out here? How you move mm. out here? Mm. Wanna move? Uh, 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 uh. As I'm talking uh, about now, Trick, Ross, JT, picture went viral. Yeah. 
pretty much that's you know Florida, you know what I'm saying? Three oh five, you know what it is. So I got two questions. Will we get that record soon and speak to cause Trick Ross and JT, the thing that all of y'all have in common is the consistency. You know, you you that's hear it. about, you know what I'm saying, Ross going seven years before before he even really got his big shot. You feel me? Trick putting in the work from the from the bottom, you still going crazy how you going. Speak to that as far as just being the pioneers of of, of Miami and will we get that that collaboration? Um, hopefully. If it's up to me, I could say yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Other niggas, you know, every when when, when the stars land, <laughs> when the mood is just right, the mood. Yeah, but uh, you know, we all love each other, and um, one day, you know, I'm working on it though. I'm working on making that happen. Mm. Cause if I don't do it, they won't do it. They are, they doing whatever they doing. So I got to at least start it off, and then go get a nigga coming, man. You know, filling this blank real fast. You know, and I, that's the way I see it getting done. I got to start it. You know, mm. yeah. okay. not to say nobody else ain't working on it, but niggas know I'm working on it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Take me back to the Luke record days, man. Um, Cause like, you know, names like Hop, names like Chico, I think yeah. are, are important yeah. in, in the, the music, but you know, you don't really see these guys a lot. So what, how, how important is Hop just to Miami music period? <laughs> Hot was the nigga at Lou Records that kept JT money in line. Mm. <laughs> Hot was the nigga like, come on, Jay. Huh, you know, uh, Jay, I kept me close so I could stay out of trouble. But Hot did book all the shows. Hot was promoting and marketing. Hot down there was breaking the records. Hot was a one man show, you know? Mm. Mm. Yeah, Michael Hopkins, nigga Hot. Okay. Yeah. Now we got that it that coming up. Yeah. You know? Check. Big birthday. Pack Jam. Yeah. Before we even get to that, take take because you know we just had the origins yeah, of hip hop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How do you, how you feeling about that, man? I'm glad I make it. I'm looking forward to the next chapter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, All go. these niggas there. Listen, okay. I got one more. Well, I got. I'm sitting on a lot of shit, but I got one project right now. Right, that's ready to go. I got my niggas shouting and talking to people, but. Nigga, I'm finna switch to some Southern Soul, cause I got something to say, bitch. <laughs> I got, some, hey, nigga, I'm 59, bitch. So let, one well, of you niggas better step up and rap that gangster shit for us to feel. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> I'm finna Southern Soul this shit, nigga. Now, you, you, you <laughs> still teaching these youngest, man, because still, still in shape. You feel me? Music still sounding good. I know you working on your album. Yeah. Immortal, talk to me about that. What's the direction you, you want to go for this album? Um, I'm, I'm going to go all the way back and up, but I'm going to still, it's going to be grown, but I'm going to still talk some of those subjects mm. that, that I know niggas love. Like, like I, I can't be one no life mother, and my mentality ain't poisonous right now. I'm saying like real shit, like, I'm grown as fuck, but I know what's up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I am. You know what I'm saying? And but it, it's gonna be that man. It's shit hard. Like I'm actually proud. I call it young nigga music, but you know y'all get it. You know it's gonna be what they wanna hear. But you know that's the club shit, got the street shit. You know, much as I try to be a a, a, a humble player and a gentleman. Uh, you know, y'all niggas be trying to get me to talk that shit. Mm. Say that shit, Jay. Don't be holding back. Let me spam these niggas. So, you know, you're going to get some of that shit. Cause I'm, if I'm lying, nigga, slap me then, nigga. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But shit said, you know, it's going to be that conversation, though. But then I'm going to sell the soul. <laughs> Chilling the circuit, baby. Mississippi, I'm on the way, bitch. Out of power. Oh, no, I'm just playing with y'all niggas right now. <laughs> uh, now, how, now, tell the people how you going to celebrate your 50. Oh, we're going to do a big one. Well, we're going to start at the double chief right. Nigga, going to have the big old thing and the big old thing and the big. Mm. Yeah. Nah, but nigga, listen, man. You know, family and friends, you know, celebrity friends, players and partners, you know. Hey, we, we celebrating 30 some years of music and 50 years of that nigga life, and I made it, nigga. I made it to 50, nigga. You fuck with me, come fuck with me. Nigga, have a shot, nigga, pour a shot, nigga. Train some, nigga. Let's jerk to that shit we came up on. Because you know my nigga play all that kind of music I like. You know, um, 
and this is a prize, man. I don't want to give it away, but you know, so much was invested into it to make it player. You know, I, I don't want to kill the awe factor. You did. But I'm going to be there, and I'm going to be flyer than a motherfucker. Nigga, get flyer than me. Nigga, come through and let me see you. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's definitely a big celebration to turn that, you feel me, that iffy. I'm a bad and, promoter, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you on I'm point. You feel me? You, 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 you know what it is, uh, like. Now, I know you said your when it comes down just to music, your favorite place is, is either recording it or yeah. rocking that bitch on stage. Yeah. What would the JT Money today tell the JT Money that first started out doing music and, and what's the difference now? Uh, well, think more business. See, back then, you know, again, and I'm not, we thought we was raw. I thought I was raw shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it's like I always do this shit. I go, oh, shit, fuck it, nigga. I just make a record. If something going on, I just make a record, you know? But you, without the vision of where the game going and how many other motherfuckers coming, because they gunning for that spot, niggas yeah. want it. But you just thinking, you know, everything have it. You know, like, I, if you ask my sons, I'll be like, what's every old nigga favorite line? They gonna, they gonna say, boy, if I knew then what I know now. <laughs> every old nigga. But, if when we tell it to the young niggas, and I say I even get you young niggas, cause it, it's the whole adolescence and thinking you know it all, and, and you don't believe you think something different. You don't believe we been there, done that, survived it, can help you do it. Mm -hmm. But that's that shit you gotta go through it. You said they gotta let him bump his head. Gotta. But if we listen, you know, at least to the key points, the game would be so much smoother. You know what I'm saying, like. All you had to do was pay attention. Like, he's a baby. She said, that shit hot, don't touch it. But you still had to yeah. see how hot, see how hot. You got to burn your shit. How I had it, but if you just... <laughs> okay. I, I, just, I, I like, it's, I, it's the process. So I'll be trying to tell a nigga, just take it serious, man. Business, you know. Business. All right. Now, we're in 2022, you feel me? We got a, a lot of new faces out. So who are... What what's 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 in JT money? You feel me? What's it, what, what what you bumping right now in the car? I got a, a, a flash drive with them old school funk. Okay, you know, and the new music I'm working on. But you know, sometimes I put on my, my Spotify, Pandora, and hit my Dade County radio, uh -huh. and then and I get all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I get all that shit. But uh, again, you know, it, it, it's it's a it's a vibe, but. You trying to see if I listen to anybody else? Yeah, other than... yeah. Well, I'm a Mike Smith fan, man. You know. Okay. That's my okay. kid. That's why oh, I'm going on ten. Look at this. He's he's a raw nigga to me. I like I like him. And you know, you got other niggas. You know, like I, I, I my thing used to be Berg and, and Smith because the, the niggas yeah. reminded me of representing. They were they were the crib. I see. Yeah, I saw a little of me and those guys. You know, but, I mean they got their own thing. But like yeah, nigga, somebody in your family know Jay nigga. Yeah. Like, you heard <laughs> some Jay nigga because you don't just get that raw nigga. Yeah. They got no Jay and nigga, nigga. All the niggas that came through, you gotta come through that poor and clean bitch. Yeah, you know what it yeah, is. But, uh, yeah, but again, I, I listen to a lot of other shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I still I, like niggas I like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I like me some Jewelry, I like me some Ball and G, you know what I'm saying? I like these niggas, all the goody niggas. I like, you know, like these is, oh, since God. I fuck with them, you know, like Faith, I fuck with them, so I fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got nothing to do with who who on the TV today or who on the radio mm. today. It's just a, yeah, nigga, you know, I might hear the nigga say, you know, what's up, boy, everything good? Just checking on you. Yeah. I'm just saying, what's up? Yeah, I call nigga, say, nigga, I don't want nothing. Just, yeah, okay, you straight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, But yeah. that's just me, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Let me just bounce off of that. Two questions. One word association and a couple of just groups. One word. Word association. When I say the word, you just tell me what you think. The nineties. Uh, I just raw say rap. Nineties hip hop. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, but that's really my raw rap hip hop. Um, Goody Mob or UGK? Uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna go with Goody, but that's the goddamn film scene. I'm be sliding to it. But see, it's a total different. Like, I'm all that. Say that. So, 
we can talk this, you know, peace in the hood, let's live it up, let's do right, let's do good by each other, brother loving, it. and then it's like, what's it been, I'm riding clean stunting, only fuck niggas, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a day kind of nigga, you mix that shit up, nigga, cause we love us, and then, you know, we, yeah, nigga, they get the flex from us, I think. Now, being as though Florida Flow, you feel me, home of Dade County Elite Battle League, um, this is pretty much, and I'll say this year, we're, we're getting more traction, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, I've been thinking about putting together, or, or having, you feel me, you and Big Shake put together a run the yard card, you know what I mean, where we introduce you to some of the you know, our, our battle rappers, you know what I'm right. saying? Show them, show them, the, show you the footage. You kind of pick your favorites, you know what I'm saying? Pick who, who you would like to go against, who we kind of get that going. I, but that's something we'll talk, you know, off right. the camera. What's your take on battle rap, period? Are, are you into battle rap? Like, like, is that something that you watch? I pay attention. When, when niggas share, share a raw one with me, and I hear a nigga or a bitch spitting that shit, I'm like, ugh, ugh. But you know, you, you can hear. I can hear. Huh. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, it's just another part of the culture. It, it all goes together. You know what I'm saying? How I feel about it, that's another talent, you know? To be, you know, that's another muscle in the brain. You know, some niggas is thinkers and, and writers and reciters, and other niggas, you know, just pop, come with it, you know, spontaneous, you know? We, we, we used to do that in our days, okay, you know? Talk to me about it. Yeah, I mean, that's what me, Dale, and Joe used to do, you know? Mm -hmm. The mad, jump in, you know? We were, it, like you say, we was the ones with the, the hip-hop sound, but the Miami niggas, yep. Southern, you know what I'm saying? We was going against everybody else, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that was just our thing, you know? But when when back to professionalism you know like all right boom a couple of niggas in pg they still freestyle on beats and call it a record <laughs> me i still write that shit down listen change that fit because professionalism is about making a motherfucking record it ain't if you want to sell something you got to package the motherfucker up right you know make yeah. master clean it up you know do whatever you got to do to sell it if you just throwing some shit out there, you just throw it out there. How you do it? Beat loud, vocals lower, vocal well. It's a difference, you know what I'm saying? I noticed that with you, like, um, just in your music, even from the beginning of the time, pretty much is like you, you, you write hooks, you and you do your hooks. That's not, that's not something that a lot of rappers do. I could tell you pay attention to the cadence and mm. the, the just the composition of your songs right yeah. so so how important is 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 writing your own lyrics to you or, or or do you feel a certain way when it comes to ghost writing with with rappers to each his own man my opinion is I, I do what i do and they do what they do like if it take a team of niggas to come up with that because at the end of the day we want the best product True or false, we want to eat. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because proud to stop a nigga from eating. Like, I do a record, and you got a hook idea. But, man, I'm thinking about this, but your shit way better than mine. Mm -hmm. And I don't do it. I'm hurting myself. Trying not to, you know what I'm saying? It's fuck shit. So, I, I ain't got no, all right, who that? The nigga, I left the studio five in the morning. Nigga called me back at nine. I said, boy, you got to get back here, man. We got this shit. I walked in. And it was like, yeah, the hook gonna go like this. And then we did that rocket. Nine in the morning, you know what I'm saying? We okay, hung out okay. one night, niggas was talking this shit. Who the, who, who shit, who the? That's the ain't no nigga got it. I guess they ain't go to sleep, nigga stay woke. Nine o'clock in the morning, man, you gotta get back to the studio, boy. This shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but nigga like that. did that hook, but that was that beat and shit. I, so naturally, I, I know how to come in on this bit. Who that all brand nigga trying to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they kind of style, you too. Feel me. Yeah, ask you a question, bro. You, you comfortable? Cause, cause I know the equipment hot and all that. Though. You good? Nah, I'm, I'm good. I got a show tonight, though. I'm trying to get you niggas all exactly. I can get you, baby. Y'all see? Just like, make sure y'all yeah. let us know when, when you good. You know what yeah, I'm well, I want to make sure you got enough to chop and make yeah, the yeah, nice yeah, episode. Yeah, I want to drop some key points and do 
Yeah, I wanna do good. I wanna do good. See, that gonna be one of my songs. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> all right, all right. So let me see. We got one more question. Um, now being as though, cause I. All right. Tell me, tell me, um, what you got going on right now? As far as tell the people, you feel me? Like anything, any updates, new music, shows, tours yeah. you got going on? Yeah, definitely. Um. Music, always music, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm rocking my label, but I ain't got nobody on it but me and my two sons, Ricky Stacks and Jay Dollars. You know, them niggas out there, I check them out, them boys hard too. Not because I'm nigga daddy, I ain't just saying that. But, um, you know, I do my own PC merchandise. I got a whole website for that on the novelmusicgroup.com and uh, a lot of flavors, you know. Got girl shit, player shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and and tours and shows, you know, I, I just stay booked. But I think they finna make this trick that at 25th University, whatever, anniversary, a, a tour. Okay. You know, I done did a couple of those dates, you know. Uh, rocking with Lil Bro. Yeah, Lil Bro, I said it again, nigga. <laughs> yeah, but that's my brother, I know. Anyway, I'm the big brother, goddammit. Fuck that shit. School ain't for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you, JT. You know what it is, man. Can we get a shout out of Florida Flow? Yeah, you got damn right. Florida Flow. Appreciate you, all y'all in Florida Flow world. UndeniableMusicGroup.com. Nigga, go look for OG Perspective, From the Vault, Hidden Gems, J Baby, The G Pass. I got so many of these motherfuckers that I know y'all ain't heard. Just the new JT money. Just type that shit in and then let's get re reacquainted again. <laughs>